Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a wine glass in Blender. So let's get started. First of all, go to General. Okay, we can go to General, and the orange outline around the cube means it's selected. If it's not there, just click on the cube, and then press Delete to get rid of the cube. Let's go to Add, Mesh, and then Cylinder. Okay, once you have added cylinder, press 1 on the number pad of your keyboard to see the front view of your uh, cylinder. If the number pad is not working, just you can use this one like this. Okay, any angle you see. Okay. So yeah, after that, we're going to zoom in by scrolling and we'll go to edit mode. Press Ctrl R, you can see this yellow line appearing. So after that, just scroll up, once again scroll up and once you, uh, once you see these three lines, just click and, and once again click. And you can see there are you know, vertices created. Now click outside the cylinder to deselect. Now, uh, first of all, you need to turn the toggle X-ray on, okay? And then choose the top part and uh, press S. And drag like this to scale it down. Scale it uh, around one unit. And then this part select and then press S again and then scale it up. And again, this part press S and scale it up a little bit around half unit. And this part press S and then Scale it down all the way down here. And then again, this part, press S, scale it down, all the way down here. Okay. So after that, press outside to deselect. Now press the scroll, the middle scroll button on your mouse and drag like this. Right now you, you see, uh, kind of hole here but there's no hole if you turn off this x-ray mode you can see the top part is um, covered with kind of flat thing so this thing is called face now we're going to go to this face selection mode and click on top of the cylinder and it selects the face top face now press delete and from this option, choose faces. Now it's actually whole, um, hollow. You know, there's a hole. Um, so now, once you do that, just go to front view mode. Click here, or just press number one. And after that, um, let's turn on the X-ray mode again and press A to select all. Press E to extrude, but we're not going to drag the mouse to extrude. Just click, just click once on the mouse and then press S. Now we're going to drag the mouse so that we can scale it down a little bit. and click. Now click outside to deselect. Now you can see that this kind of thing is uh, created if you turn on the x-ray mode off you can see. Okay. Now again front view and then remember to turn on the x-ray mode. Okay. Holding sh on this holding holding the shift key and then uh, 
scroll button on your mouse, just drag it up. And we're going to select the bottom part. Okay. Press E to extrude, and we're going to uh, drag it down. If it doesn't go straight down, if it goes here and there, just press Z or Z. It, it will come down. Okay. Only up and down. Drag it down, click, and then press S. And Scale it a little bit. Again, press E to extrude. Okay. We're gonna go down like this and click. Press E again to extrude. Click. Press press S to scale it up. And click. Again, press E and extrude, click, and then again, press S to scale it up, click once again, one last time, press E and drag it down and click. Now the basic shape is ready. Let's go to edit uh, object mode. Now get rid of this X-ray mode. Turn it off, right click on the object and press shade smooth. Now it's quite smooth, but we need it more. I mean, we need it to be smoother. So let's go to modify properties, add modifier, and then press, uh, choose subdivision surface. Remember the object, this uh, wine glass should be selected first and then go to Add modifier. Now, here are two different you know sections. One is viewport, one is render. Both should be two. Okay, click here and two, and you can see it's already very smooth. Okay. Well, it's already done, but let's make it uh, make it uh, a little better and more realistic. Uh, right now, you don't see any kind of color here. To see the color, you have to go to material preview mode. Okay, click here, and now you can see that the color is white. Let's uh, click outside and go to add mesh and then plane. Press S and drag it like this. And now uh, click on the glass or the wine glass and Press G and then Z or Z to just move it up. Okay. And click. Once again, grab and Z. Okay. So we are done with the placing of the this. Uh, plane below this glass. Now choose the plane and go to this material properties, choose new and go to this base color and choose any color. Okay. Any color, okay. And then we're gonna, let's see how it looks. Uh, right now, it just, it just, uh, it doesn't show whole glass because we haven't set the camera angle. To do that, just set the angle and then go to, uh, I mean, press Control Alt and zero on number pad, okay? So this will lock the camera angle. Go to render image. And now you can see the whole glass. If the, you know, the camera angle doesn't work, you can just choose the camera here. 
click on the camera and just G and you can you can move it move the camera okay so now let's go to the class choose the class and again here add uh, material go to material properties add new and this time we're gonna change the surface click here and then choose glass bsdf now it's already looking like glass so let's go to color and choose a different color here okay click on the color to apply and then roughness should be low click and drag very low okay now if you see here there's the render preview also click here it will show the actual uh, actual result if you go here render and render image you can see the final result but you can make it better by choosing a different render uh, option here go to render properties and instead of this EV render engine you change the render engine to cycles now as you can see it already you know looks way different way more different but the thing is cycles uh, gives you a um, better render quality but it takes time to render so if you go to render and render image it will take time to give you the final result so it will take a little time so i'm gonna go and pause the video so now the rendering is done now you can see the result so yeah this is the result and i hope you like the video you like the tutorial if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and uh, leave a comment and do not forget to hit subscribe okay do not forget to subscribe to this channel and lastly what you um, need to do is just go to image and save as okay so that's all so okay um yeah see you in the next video